the Turks and the Greek have a lot in common. Great landscapes, a pleasant climate, amazing food and the historic desire to invade each other's lands. Who should we blame for this invasion madness? Looking back to our earliest recordings, it was really Turkey that started invading Greece, causing mass destruction all over the country. So we blame the Turks? No, because as it turns out, they were only invading Greece because they were being chased away by the Syrians, Georgians, Iraqis and Arabs. So we blame them. Well, as it turns out, the mammal population those days mainly consisted of camels, horses, rodents and a few monkeys. But it's hard to blame them for plate tectonics. Uh, what? Northward movement of the Arabian plate caused the Anatolian plate to move westward around 10 to 15 million years ago, along the north and east Anatolian faults, accompanied by massive earthquakes since their time of formation. Around 5 million years ago, the North Anatolian Fault started to invade the Aegean domain, causing earthquakes, tsunamis and landslides to a degree that makes any human influence on this sort of scale, well, rather tiny. So plate tectonics is the real villain here? Absolutely, 